so hello everyone welcome to my new video so this video is the continuation of the pentakem video that i made already previously but in my last video i at first told you what are the normal things and after that we correlate those normal things with case different types of cases in this video we are only going to look at different cases and also see that is it normal or abnormal case okay so let's start this uh, pentagon report analysis okay first of all let's start with this case here as in my previous video also i mentioned that first of all we need to look at the qs value okay so here what is qs value is showing quality specification it is saying okay that means the measurement taken is correct after that q value is also normal after that we need to see the kmx value it is less than 47.20 it is also normal and thinnest local is 534 it's also absolutely normal y axis deviation is 0 minus 0 0.14 that is also in normal range so after that we need to uh, look at the anterior uh, sagittal curvature so it is showing that asymmetrical bow tie with inferior steepening and there is oblique astigmatism is present as we can see in this picture but if you calculate the difference between the two opposite corresponding point like this is 43.9 and this is 43.2 it is less than 2.5 so it is absolutely normal after that if we go to the elevation front then uh, the thinnest local uh, point uh, uh, is plus 3 okay so it is it should be less than uh, 8 so it is plus 3 so it is also normal and this uh, central uh, 3 mm area it is less than um, plus 18 okay so it is also normal so in the um, elevation back here you can see that the corresponding point uh, of the thinnest local is less than plus 7 and the central 3 mm zone uh, is actually uh, less than uh, 20 so it is also normal and if you see the uh, what to say this is the uh, corneal thickness map here you will see that the thinnest local point is 538 so it is a normal uh, map so this and uh, four refractive map is actually telling that yes uh, the uh, case is actually normal but to uh, to go for the pro uh, ultimate decision uh, we need to see the belly embryo and hence ectasia map okay so this is the belly embryo and hence ectasia map of the, of the patient so here um, if you see the average value it is less than 1.2 that is also no uh, normal and if you see the red curve deviation so it is uh, up to continuous up to six millimeter area and uh, after that it get deviated so it is also normal and uh, here you will see that no there is no suspected uh, thing like uh, red uh, color coding is there so it is also indicating that the cornea is absolutely normal in this patient okay so it's a absolutely normal patient normal case let's move to the other eye so here uh, we need to see the qs value so it is a qs value is normal q value that is the asphericity that indicate the asphericity of the cornea that is also normal Normal. After that, if you see the KMX value, it is 44.6 and the thinnest local is 538, absolutely normal. Y axis deviation minus 0 0.21, that is also normal. And if you see the anterior sagittal, that is also asymmetrical bow tie with inferior steepening, and there is um, uh, the axis is a in between uh, 1 to 120 to 125. And uh, if you uh, calculate the corresponding opposite point difference, then it is also less than 2.5, so it is absolutely normal. And after that, if you see the elevation front in the mm, thinnest local corresponding point is plus 3 so it is no less than plus 8 and in the mm, elevation back here uh, it is less than plus 7 and in the central theme area it is less than 20 so it is absolutely normal and in this a, a, a corneal thickness map we can see that it is actually mm, 542 so uh, here in the corneal thickness map the uh, thinnest point should be more than 470 so then only we consider is a normal case so here it is also absolutely absolutely normal so after that we will move to the belly embryo ectasia map so here we will see that the average value is 1.07 so it is absolutely normal and if you see the in uh this red curve so it is actually continuous uh, up to six millimeters so it is absolutely normal so here is you will see d f d b and d and d main mean d it is also less than 1.2 so it is also absolutely normal okay now let's move to this case here first of all you need to see the qs value qs value is absolutely normal and q value is also normal and after that you need to see the chemx value it is 48.08 so we know that uh, the mm, chemx value should be less than 47.20 but it is 48.08 Zero eight. So yes, it is in a suspective case because the KMX value is indicating a little bit more, and the thinnest local is four sixty five, where it should be more than four seventy. So it is also indicating that yes, there is something abnormality is going on. So we need to move the move to the 
um, y axis deviation it should be less than 0 0.5 here it is more than 0 0.5 so it is also indicating an no uh, abnormal thing after that we if you see this uh entire sagittal map it is actually showing the asymmetrical boat i will introduce depending and if you calculate the difference then it is uh not that much high that is more than 2.5 but uh, then also um, the kmx value um, depending on the kmx value we suspect that yes there is something abnormality is going on because uh, some parameters are not in normal range so after that if you see the um, central uh, th thinnest local corresponding point in this elevation so here uh, you will see that it is a plus 11 where it should be less than um, 8 so it is also um, indicating some abnormal thing and after that if you see the back elevation back it is uh, 24 okay where it should be less than 20 so it is also indicating some normal abnormal thing is going on and here uh, corneal uh, thickness here 470 466 so it is actually a borderline i think we can say it is a borderline so we need to see the uh, belly nembrosio map to get a more uh, surety so here you will see that uh, here you will see the red indicator uh, in this belly nembrosio map so elevation front and back it is indicating the thinness uh, th uh, thinness here and after that if if you see this average value here in the progression index so it is uh, more than 1.2 okay that is indicating some ectatic condition is going on and if you uh, follow the this um, red curve so it is actually getting deviated before 2 millimeter area so it is actually now the picture is actually getting clear so the picture is actually this is a case of keratoconus and the person is having keratoconus okay so here all the uh, all these uh, values here you will see are uh, explained in df db dp all are actually expressed in um, red background which is indicating some ectatic condition okay so here d value should be one less than 1.2 but here it is 4.31 okay so it is a case of keratoconus uh, now let's move to this case here the Q, uh, qs value okay um, q value is also normal and here if you see the kmx value it is 54.40 54.4 uh, diopter where it should be less than 47.20 that is an abnormal case so it is actually indicating uh, more steepness um, and the y axis deviation is also more than 0 0.5 and the thinnest local is 445 so from this value up to this value we can understand that yes cornea is not normal it is abnormal cornea so uh, when we see the anterior sagittal map there is a inferior steepening is noticeable and if you calculate the difference between these two uh, opposite corresponding point like 51.20 and 42.4 it is more than 2.5 it is definitely a case of corneal ectasia because you are seeing in this sagittal curvature okay now if you see move to the elevation front it is uh, plus 17 and here uh, you can see it is plus 48 so it is actually more than plus 20 so it is indicating the ectatic condition in, in the corneal thickness map the thinnest local is 448 that is actually less than 470 so yes it is a case of corneal ectasia because there is more steepening is there in this section okay and now if you see this belly nembrosio map so in the picture is very much clear and if you see the average value it is 1.64 that is more than 1.2 and if you follow the red curve so it is getting deviated uh, before 2 millimeter area so it is indicating the ectasia condition and if you see the mean d value it is uh, 7.97 that is very high okay so this is how you will uh, you will examine or you will you need to see the um, pentacam report now uh, this case so here uh, you will see the qs value is okay q value is also in normal range and now kmx value is 49 that is more than 47.20 and thinnest local is 475 that is also borderline and y axis deviation is very much high more uh, that is higher than 0 0.5 so it is actually a, a, an abnormal value now after that you need to see the enter sagittal map it is uh, asymmetrical boat i would superior steepening and if you calculate the difference between these two that is more not more than 20 net not more than 2.5 but then also you can uh, you need to see the other parameters like here the thinnest local um, uh, corresponding point is 8 uh, minus 8 and here you will see an abnormal value like 17 but it is also that not that much abnormal value uh, because it should be less than uh, 18 in uh, the central thmm area so it, there is not that much higher value is there and if it, in this elevation back here you will see um, the values are less than 20 and thinnest local is 478 so yes it is a border 
another line but we cannot say um, before um, uh, we cannot make a decision before uh, we need a close look at belly number co map so in belly number co map yes here the picture is very clear so average value is 1.16 where it should be less than 1.2 so it's a normal uh, case so here everything is in uh, green color coding so it is indicating the safe side of the cornea and if you see the red curve then it is slightly deviating uh, from uh, deviating before uh, 6 so it is actually in the borderline this cornea is having borderline of keratoconus it can lead up to keratoconus in any condition that means for in future so um, but uh, now still till now it is not keratoconus okay so you can say it's a form force keratoconus something like that okay now if you see this case though fear qs value is okay q value is also normal and after that uh, kmx value is less than 47.20 and thinnest local is 505 that is also normal after that if we see this entire sagittal map so here we you, we will see the intuitive steepening but if you calculate the difference that is uh, not more than 2.5 it is also normal and in the elevation uh, front here the values are plus 5 that is less than plus 8 and in the uh, elevation back it is um, plus 18 where it should be uh, what to say uh, less than uh, plus 20 so it is also normal and in the thinnest point here it is 506 so here thickness is absolutely in normal range so in this uh, belly number co map you will see there is not that much risky factors are there and if you see the average value it is 0 0.99 so it is less than 1.2 and uh, if you follow the red curve it is up to continuous up to 6 millimeters so it is an absolutely normal cornea there is nothing ectatic condition is going on now if you see this value qs value is normal q value is also normal and after that q uh, kmx value 47.8 where it is it is less than 47.20 it is also normal thinnest point is 510 so it is also normal if you see the uh, sagittal curvature maybe it is asymmetrical bow tie with inferior steepening and if you calculate the difference between these two points it is more than 2.5 mm, so it is actually indicating some abnormal thing is going on here uh, in this area here the th uh, steepness is more and here the flatter flattening is there so the difference is more than 2.5 so yes there is something abnormal is going on but uh, we cannot uh, get and uh, do a decision before we take a close look at belly number co map so here elevation front here you will see plus 7 that is less than plus 8 and here you will see um, that uh, the values are actually 19 29 or 21 so it, these are more than 20 so it is also indicating something abnormal is going on but the corneal thickness is absolutely normal so let's take a, this example uh, let's take it belly embryo map so here you will see yes there is an uh, early progression of keratoconus here so you from this picture you can easily understand here um, the elevation front and back here you will see uh, that uh, there is steepness uh, is very much uh, cl clearly noticeable and uh, um, but if you see the average value here then it is more than 1.2 there is also indicating some ectatic condition and if you see if you follow this red curve it is actually getting deviated before 2 millimeters so this is a case of keratoconus okay so this is how you will get to a diagnosis or decision that yes the case is keratoconus first of all you need to see the all this value and compare with the normal value and after that ultimately you need to see the belly embryo and enhance ectasia map now um, if you see this case then here qs value is okay q value is also normal and after that kmx value 53.1 there is also abnormal value there is more than 47.20 and thinnest local is 492 it is actually um, more than 470 but um, it is less than 500 so it is in safe zone and the thinnest uh, local y axis deviation that is indicating the displacement of the uh, steep uh, point uh, thinnest local point in the vertical meridian so it is actually less than 0 0.5 so it is also normal but in the interstitial maybe uh, there is um, asymmetrical bow tie with inferior steepening and if you calculate the difference that is uh, more than 2.5 so it is abnormal value and in this uh, thinnest point uh, corresponding point it is plus 20 so it is actually more than plus 8 so it is ab absolutely a normal va uh, abnormal value and here also you will find 20 plus 28 minus uh, 73 something like this type of abnormal value so it is indicating something abnormal is going on in this cornea and if you see the thinnest local it is 497 thickness is no, uh, actually uh, in normal range but other parameters like elevation front and back and the sagittal curvature and uh, the kmx value are indicating yes the cornea is may have some uh, ectatic condition so you need to look at the belly nebrosia map so here in belly nebrosia map it is clearly indicating that the person is having keratoconus and if you follow this red line so it is getting deviated before two millimeter and the average value is 1.54 so it is actually more, um, more than 1.2 it is absolutely 
abnormal value and in the uh, below here you will see the d is uh, 5.95 okay so uh, this is also abnormal value so this is also case of keratoconus so these are some cases that i discussed with you all and um, uh, the purpose of discussing about these cases is to make you understand how to see a pentachem report properly and how to go for a diagnosis that is it in a normal uh, pentachem report or abnormal pentachem report so there are several types of uh, corneal shapes are uh, available that uh, we normally see here like um, um, circular um, uh, round round uh, uh, here round or oval or symmetrical shape asymmetrical shape skewed radial axis all these things are there so you need to correlate this all sagittal curvature front uh, sagittal curvature um, uh, shape with all those things that you learned like um, asymmetrical bow tie or symmetrical bow tie superior stiffening, inferior stiffening with a squared radial axis and uh, if you see the skewness then you need to measure the skewness and if it is more than 22 degree then it is actually abnormal so this is how you need to correlate with the normal value with the abnormal value to go for a diagnosis okay so that's all friends thanks for watching please don't forget to like my video subscribe to my channel please don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you will get notification whenever i have a new video and i hope this video helped you to understand something more about a uh, pentagram report okay thank you so much